Hello, this is Reverend Don Lewis coming to you from beautiful Florida. And today our question comes to us from Reverend Lori. And Reverend Lori has this question. Is it possible for one person to block another person's dream, either intentionally or unintentionally? And the first thing that I must say to this is that there are an awful lot of potential variables in this question that could definitely affect what would be the most appropriate answer, and I do not know those variables. Therefore, I have to answer in a kind of general way. When we ask, could a person block another person's dream, there really is the question of, what do you mean by block? Do you mean the person stopped the person from having a dream? Well, how would you know? Could it mean that they appeared in the dream? Well, that's one possibility. Could it mean they interfered with the dream? Uh, any number of possible things are meant by this question, but they're not explicit. So I'm going to answer it again in a kind of a general way. And what I'm going to say is that people often communicate in dreams unconsciously. Both people who are living in the physical world and people in the physical world with people who are in the spirit world. It's not at all uncommon to have communication through dreams. Usually it's unconscious, but yes, if you can communicate, well, then you could potentially block somebody from something in some way or another. Uh, depending again on what exactly we're actually asking, yes, it is possible, either unconsciously or consciously, because you can learn how to communicate with people through dreams in a conscious manner. And at one time we had a class on this at the witch school, I'm not sure whether we still do or not, but um, it certainly is a skill that one can learn, and it's commonly called dream walking. It is not a common skill, and it's certainly not an infallible skill, but it is something that can be done. And it's also something that can be shielded against uh, if one feels that that is necessary, depending on one's situations. So if one were a dream walker, consciously or unconsciously, could they block somebody else's dream? Could they interfere in it or appear in it, etc.? Well, yes. Uh, how would you prevent this? Well, you'd prevent it first and foremost by ordinary shielding, or if that didn't work, by more extreme forms of shielding. And basically it would be shielding the same way you'd shield against any other energy. And is this odd or unnatural? Well, at a certain level, not really. People do communicate through dreams. And doing this consciously is not really any different than doing it unconsciously, except that you know that you're doing it. It's very much the same with sharing energy. We all share energy all the time. We put out energy naturally, we take in energy naturally. But when we learn how to work with energy, we learn how to do this consciously. But it isn't really different, it's just that we know we're doing it. And it's also the same with manifestation. We shape the world around us all the time unconsciously, but when we learn magic, we learn how to do it consciously. So once again, the answer to the question of whether it's possible for one person to influence or block another person's dream, the answer is, well, yes, absolutely. However, I wouldn't think what happened too terribly often because most people don't know how to do it consciously. Does it happen unconsciously? I don't think people block other people's dreams unconsciously. And I'm still not quite sure what is meant by that because I have the feeling there's more to this story than is expressed in the question. But taking it in a general sense, it's possible I wouldn't think it would happen very often, and I wouldn't think it would really happen unconsciously. But could it be done consciously? Well, yes, it could. But that's not usually the way in which we enter into one another's dreams. Usually it's a matter of communication, whether it's conscious or unconscious. So those would be my thoughts on the matter. I hope you find them helpful. And until next time, may you blessed be. Reverend Don, Super Omnibus of Incantations and Invocations for All Occasions. Marianne Kay and I created this massive compendium of magic and artwork for you to use in any way that you would like. There are literally hundreds of spells and hundreds of illustrations, which can be mixed and matched and used in many different ways. Check it out now at witchgoolstore.com. Pray for Peace. Pray for Love. Pray for stability. Pray for the nation where you live. Pray for the world.